A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts condemn. For God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God and receive from him whatever we ask because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And his commandment is this, we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the spirit he gave us. The word of the Lord. So tonight I wanted to begin by talking about the filioque. Just kidding. Jesus Christ. The way we know that he remains in us is from the spirit he gave us. The spirit is that of joy, fortitude, gentleness, long-suffering, humility, kindness. All of the Spirit's gifts have been poured out on us in baptism, and this Spirit who fills us with himself is greater than our hearts. We have this, these gifts, but we have to cultivate them. I would suggest that as this season of resurrection moves forward toward Pentecost, we should pray for an increase in these gifts as Christ's victory is to radiate in our lives and show others his reign, we need to ask for an increase in these gifts so that we may be more and more perfect and more and more his. God wants, us, wants to help us become the best version of ourselves through his spirit he gave us, through the spirit who is the gift. Do we realize this in this season, in every season? Do we realize what God wants to make us into? Do we realize the gift and dignity given to us in the Holy Spirit in baptism and living out that baptismal call through the gift of our vows? Brothers and sister, he is greater than our hearts which means we can never really understand the breadth and the depth of the love he has for us. The only glimpse we can get is in these gifts we share with one another and his love which we allow him to give others through us. For the rest of the Easter season, maybe we can pray to the Holy Spirit to help us recognize the gifts he gives us and to praise him for his presence in others through the gifts he gives to them. We can pray to recognize the gifts he gives to us, even if it's just a sparrow using the window ledge in the sacristy to build a home for her brood. Maybe just to give us a little chuckle in the morning and a reason to look out the windows a little bit more. Praise the Holy Spirit, given to us in so many different ways, unimagined ways, unrecognizable ways. He is greater than our hearts. We cannot begin to fathom this, but we can begin to praise and glorify God in our lives, which is itself a gift, for all that we know that he does in our lives and all that we do not recognize as his work in our lives. Brothers and sister, this is the first evening 
of the rest of our journey through life with Christ. We have to obey his commandment of love and through love itself the gift of the Holy Spirit sent from the Father through the Son. I got the filioque way in there. We will continue on our way getting closer to he who is closer to us than ourselves. Brothers and sisters, as we prepare for Pentecost, as we go through papers and finals, preparing for our future ministering to the people of God in whatever way, as the end of the semester get close, gets closer, I have a prayer for you that is that the Holy Spirit continues to dwell and grow in you and in me, that Christ may increase and we may decrease, which is also a good name for a weight loss group. <laughs> Brothers, my prayer for you is this. Peace be with you.